Hey everyone, good morning. It is day five. We're going to head outside to Hamilton today. Looks like it's going to rain a little bit, maybe just some sprinkles. Calls for like 10%, which means, you know, those crazy weather apps. I don't know why they don't explain to you. You have to like research that it's like calls for 100% chance of rain in 10% of the area. Doesn't make any sense. So anyway, 10% chance of rain somewhere. <clears throat> so uh, I'm gonna head out, take the ferry over. It's nine bucks to take the ferry for a round trip. Just so you're aware, nine bucks. Uh, it's five if you do one way, each way. So nine bucks to take the ferry to Hamilton. It runs about 10 times a day, something like that. I'll throw the um, schedule up there for this so you can see it. So I'm gonna head out, wander over there. I'm gonna eat at the pickled onion which was recommended by Tara. So we're gonna do that. And then uh, wander around for a little bit, get some video, do a little bit of a tour of the area, and then pop back and uh, see what's going on, on the ship. I have dinner tonight at Teppanyaki, but very late, nine o'clock. So we'll wander around, do a bunch of stuff. Beetle show at 7.30. We'll see everybody later today. Bye. Hey everyone, John here. Just decided to go to the main dining room again for breakfast. It's nice, it's relaxing. Everybody else is rushing off the ship. Again, I know, I'm super predictable. Little uh, yogurt parfait there. Got my eggs Benedict with some bacon. I'm nothing if not consistent. Uh, then I took the little ferry over to Hamilton here. I'm gonna do a whole series of uh, Bermuda videos and we're gonna do uh, the ultimate guide to Bermuda, so you'll get to see a lot. So today I just wanted to give you some little taste. This is the main street. As you pop off the shuttle, you'll, you'll literally get off right here. And then, as you can see, the big crowd, everybody who got off the shuttle, you can then wander into Hamilton. So this is the little tourism building where you can get pamphlets and different things if you want to figure out different fun things to do or where to go. And then otherwise, you can just wander around Hamilton. As you can see... Tons of scooters. I don't recommend getting a scooter in Bermuda. I've had way too many clients and friends and family who have fallen or gotten hurt. People drive like absolute maniacs on the scooters. So um, I don't recommend it, but you know, whatever. And it's the other side of the road. It's the opposite side of the road since it's British. So that adds a whole level of confusion there for people as well. So uh, not my choice, but feel free, live your best life. So as you can see, Hamilton, a little more of a city than St. George was yesterday. St. George, quaint little town. Hamilton, a little more built up. As you'll see as we wander through, this main strip here is going to be where your, you know, very commercialized uh, businesses are. So you're going to have a lot of restaurants, Irish pubs, uh, different fun things to do here. I grabbed some lunch at the Pickled Onion, which is right there across the street. Um, I did not film in there because it was packed and... Uh, you know, I'm not the center of attention. So walked around a little bit, wanted to get a full kind of walking tour. So I really chopped this up. I did about probably 30 or 40 minutes of Hamilton, which I will show you in its entirety in the Bermuda video, but I don't want you just to have to walk down the whole street with me here for 30 minutes. So I walked all the way down to the end of the commercial properties and then kind of cut down to where they're you know, court system is and, uh, and those type of things, which I will show you again, we'll go through a ton of different things in the actual Bermuda video, just sped this up here to get down the street a little bit. And then again, the waterfront here is beautiful. Bermuda is such a beautiful Island. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you are cruising, it is truly one of my favorite stops. I'm going to be there, I think five times in the next year. So we'll have lots of experience with Bermuda. But if you haven't been there yet and you are kind of worried about it or for whatever reason you haven't gone over there, a lot of people are afraid to cross the Atlantic uh, to there. It's not. It's a day. You know, it's a quick trip. Uh, if you go on a seven-day cruise, it's uh, two days, but you're barely moving. So it's only about 600 miles east of South Carolina. So I really recommend it. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful port. And usually when you go on a cruise, even if you do – a five day, you usually spend one day overnight there. And if you do a seven day, you're there for two and a half days, which is amazing. As we wander through the uh, some of the Capitol buildings here in Hamilton, just wandering around a little bit to give you kind of a breadth of what Hamilton looks like. It is, as you can see, very beautiful, very clean, 
for the most part, you know, in the tour, touristy areas are always well maintained. I mean, I live right outside of Philadelphia and there are some absolutely stunning parts of Philadelphia and there are some that are not. <laughs> so just like anywhere else. Um, and they're going to wind up here. The big building up there in the uh, background is the legal system. It's where they have their court and everything. So we'll wander up towards there. As you can see, there are quite a few blocks here of shops and restaurants and everything. Obviously, it's a very commercialized space. Again, this is the court and legal system here in Hamilton. Did a tour last time I was here. That's the only reason I know that. Um, beautiful buildings, though. We wander out and you can see that it's a bustling city. There's a post office there. We have churches. We have a bunch of things to do. So not only is there uh, a ton of tourism in Hamilton, but it is a city, you know, it's a it's an actual city where people are going to work. So try not to invade on their space and kind of be respectful of everything they're doing there. It's a beautiful church here. That was part of our tour on the last uh, cruise I was on. So I'll get you more information about that. I mean, I have it. So I'll give all that information in my super long Bermuda video. But that's a beautiful church there. Then we're going to wander down to like the Capitol building and things like that. And the Arts Center. You can see those things here. This is actually where the bus station is in Hamilton. If you're going on any like self-guided things, like if you want to go somewhere, you can't catch a bus here. It's very inexpensive and the bus system is uh, mapped out pretty well. You can get a little pamphlet that will show you all the different routes and everything. I've done it uh, several times and it's very easy to do. And uh, yeah, it's super simple. And then we run up here to the City Hall and Arts Center. And then right across from here, there's a really uh, nice bakery. I jumped in there and got some coffee and some uh, donuts. Really, really good. And then again, there's just a ton of shopping, ton of fun places. Came back to the ship, got some Indian food at the buffet, and then hit up some ski ball in the old arcade up on deck 16. Tons of fun. Always fun to go into the arcade. Yeah, I'm sure. Are you here? Oh, there you go. Javier? Yes, Javier. Yes, Javier. Yes. So I can hear the team number one. Number five. Who? Okay. Get to the mic over here and come to your team. Lions, does anyone know what song is that? He's feeding. Okay, one more chance. Come again. Hey everyone, okay, I switched up plans a little bit today. Was supposed to do teppanyaki tonight at 9.30. And then I realized when we were doing the live stream yesterday, I really should try one of the main dining rooms to mix it up a little bit. So I'm doing the Manhattan room tonight. I canceled my reservation for teppanyaki. I'm just not going to do teppanyaki on this cruise. Um, God knows I've done teppanyaki 20 times. So um, I'm going to skip it on this one. I know it's controversial. It's crazy. But I'm going to go do the Manhattan room instead. And then I'm going to go to the Beatles show. Then there's something going on up on the pool deck at like 10 there's a concert uh i don't know what that is so i'm gonna go check that out and i think that's gonna be it for tonight so we'll go do that stuff and then i will come back and report so let's go have a nice quiet lovely dinner in the manhattan room let's go all right here we are at the uh, manhattan room had these delicious ravioli with some lobster broth in there it was great the shrimp wrapped in bacon with grits and a little apple fig dessert, which was wonderful. Now let's go check out the Beatles Revolution.
Hey everyone, end of day five. Had a great dinner tonight at the Manhattan Room. Had these cheese ravioli that were really good, spectacular, some might say. Um, had some shrimp, uh, bacon wrapped shrimp with some grits. That was really good too. Um, had a fun little apple fig dessert. Dinner was really good. I was pleasantly surprised since I canceled teppanyaki. Uh, you know, sometimes the main dining rooms blow you away a little bit in, in a good way. So the food's been really good. No complaints on the food. Went to the Beatles show. That was great. Went to the Ocean Music Festival, which is just basically the bands that sing up on the deck late at night. Uh, that was fun. Everybody seemed like they were having a good time up there. Yeah, everything's been really good. I have zero complaints. Tomorrow's the last day in Bermuda. The last sea day is going to be tough with all the people uh, jockeying around on the ship. It's been really nice for a couple days where it's been really quiet in all the venues, except at night for, like, the shows. But it's been really nice. I have zero complaints. Uh, so... Other than it being a little crowded, which again has been a zero, has been zero issue since we're in Bermuda. So that's one of the great things about going to Bermuda on these seven day cruises. The crowds don't really get to you because the ship's empty for three days, which is so nice. Like lunch in the buffet, so nice. There's no one there. Uh, so that's it. Tomorrow we're going to hit the dockyard. I'm going to finish filming. I'm going to put together like a kind of like an ultimate cruise port guide for Bermuda doing St. George, Hamilton, and the dockyard. I'm going to put, like, the prices of the ferries, where how to get everywhere, uh, the different things that are at different locations, all those different fun things. So that's what I'm going to do next week on that. And then we'll just keep doing these vlogs and everything. Thank you all so much for watching the vlogs. Really appreciate it. Trying to get to 7,500 subscribers, which is crazy. Uh, and then 10, 10K will be the next stop. I wanted to try to do that by the end of the year. It's not looking good. Um, we almost hit five by the end of last year. Uh, we're probably going to be around 9,000 this year, but we shall see. We'll see what happens. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Really, really appreciate it. We'll talk to everybody uh, when we get back, and have a wonderful day. Happy cruising. Bye.